and the Pirates. flight to plague-ridden interior of China. Uh, just so long as it isn't an obituary chop. Huh? From typhus, people die, you know. <laughs> Funny smell in here. Sort of medicated. You noticed it? Who, me? Where? Reminds me of something when I was a kid, but I can't remember what it is. Would you believe it, Terry? I've never been sick a day in my life. Swell. Neither were my grandparents. Lived to be over 90. Good, healthy stock, huh? The old New England folks. Uh, they had a lot of gimmicks to ward off diseases. Superstitious. Maybe uh, Boston baked beans? <laughs> well, with your healthy background, Chad, you're nothing to worry about. My grandparents never went through a typhus epidemic. No? Well, not in China, anyway. They had a lot of weird gimmicks to kind of uh, keep healthy. Silly superstitions. <laughs> I got it. You got what? That spell, it's camphor. Old folks used to hang it around their necks in epidemics. You got some? Me? Go for that stuff? Yeah. Listen, buddy, this is the 20th century. We're living in a modern age. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Desolation at 5 o'clock, Terry. That must be Wang Chu. Start looking for an abandoned rice paddy that once served as an airstrip hero. There's your landing field. It's more like a wildlife sanctuary. Start sterilizing, Dr. Johnson. Here we come. I don't feel so good. Relax, Sir Galahad. Nobody's going to just be thinking about it. risking life and limb, I feel to note the cheering multitudes. People stay at home when epidemics come to town. Exactly where we should be. It's like we've drawn someone. Heaven sent angels of mercy. May your children's children remember this day with honorable pride. Dr. Johnson, where is he? He couldn't come. He sent me to deliver our undying gratitude, and take the medicine to him at once. Follow me, please. Did you say your name's Seen Anne? Is there anyone else here? I am alone. How about these cars? The gray one is mine. The other has been in disrepair for some time. You never know if we're looking at it. Keep J. Hill stay Ormway. Something say, oh, he's great. Men of disguise, 
speak words I do not understand. Of animal calls. That was the call of the American hogbill. That's the one that uh, sends you the bill the first of every month. Sounds like someone inside that building. It's been unoccupied for a month. Now, if you please to give me the medicine. Yeah. Well, let's take a look inside first, Chaz. Routine with us. Was that hefty villager C. Nan who did this little job? I don't know his name. I'm Dr. Johnson's nurse. The doctor sent you down here to meet us? Yes. The serum. Where's the serum? Look, miss, what's this all about? The serum, you've got to get it to the doctor quickly before they take it away from you. The kid's delirious. Who take it away? The bandits, that man. He tried to hide me so that he could get the delivery from you. He nearly made it, too. People are in a panic. If one man controlled all of the available serum, why, he could get any price for it. A black market in serum. Listen, Terry. I had the same thought, chum. Better get that stuff where it belongs and quick. There's a jeep outside. Get it to the doctor quickly. He's at the clinic now. All right, we'll go to the plane and pick up the stuff and come back here for you. You'll be all right? Oh, yes. But hurry, please, do it quickly. Okay, right. <laughs> you beat anyone trying to hijack stuff like this? Even shops wouldn't go for a deal like that. I think. Should be glad when this stuff is safe in the clinic. Now let's pick up the girl. Hardly right, wait. Okay, nurse, let's go. Hey, Terry, come here, quick. What's the matter, Chaz? The nurse, she's gone. I knew we shouldn't have left her alone. See, Nan must have come back for her. She put up a fight, all right, but not good enough. Well, it couldn't have gone far. Let's come back after he saw we were out of sight. Let's go, Chad. Well, next, Terry, we'd be playing a card for C. Nan. He figures we'll hang around looking for the nurse till he comes back with reinforcements to get the serum. Just can't pick up and leave. Well, we've got to. Our big job is to get to the clinic and get that serum there. Yeah, maybe you're right. But we're not leaving Wang Chu until we find that girl. Come on. This town. I got a sorry hunch one of those local typist germs is earmarked for me. I'm not gonna like telling that doctor about his nurse. Oh, don't worry, Terry. She'll turn up. As soon as that thug seen in knows we've got the stuff here, you'll forget all about her. Hope you're right. Thank heaven you're here. On this table, please. You're Dr. Johnson? Yes. Five cartons of serum when I need at least a hundred. Well, that's all I could dig up. You're flying more in from the States, Doc. We're very grateful to you, gentlemen. But now I must get to work. I'm trying to have some bad news for you, Doctor. What's bad news? It's about your nurse. Miss Brighton. In the confusion, I forgot she didn't come with you. Where is she? A man met us at the plane. Called himself C. Nan. Ever heard of him? No. He told us you stand there to get the serum. I sent no one but my nurse. We found her all right, tied up in a shack. Where is she now? Well, we left her at the shack and drove back to the plane to pick up this stuff. When we got back, she was gone. Not voluntarily, I'm afraid. See, Nan must have come back for her. Well, what's to be done? Notify the police. They're worse than useless. We'll give them a hand anyhow, Doctor. We're not leaving till we find her. You've done all you can. You expose yourself to great risk by staying here. We'll talk to the police and see what they say anyhow. As you wish. But be careful, please. You certainly did 
didn't seem very concerned about his nurse. Oh, those guys are dedicated to curing people, not locating missing ones. The guy's got a big job ahead of him. Yeah, I guess you're right. What now? Report to the police. And then back to Tansan. Well, at least to the airport. Why the airport? Well, that's where it started from, Jazz. We'll work from there. I still don't feel good. <laughs> boys who flew that plane in? That's right. Well, uh, where's the serum? Where it should be, at the clinic. Good. Uh, I don't mean to seem rude or anything, but do you mind telling us who you are? I'm Dr. Johnson of the Mission Clinic. Now, wait a minute. The man at the clinic said he was Dr. Johnson. What man? I closed the building before I left for the airfield. Things would have been a lot simpler if you'd have been on hand when we landed, Doctor. Well, somebody had tampered with my car. It broke down on the back road. Uh-oh. Get in the Jeep, sir. We'll talk about it on the way back to town. Ah, there's no one here. <laughs> that's all that's left of your doctor. We'll put the serum right here. We asked him if he was Dr. Johnson, and he said he was. All the way back from the airfield, I've been afraid of this. Hard to figure anyone would use this particular way to make a buck. You have any idea who could be behind this, Doctor? Unfortunately, I have. Gentlemen, I want that serum back. Put the gun away, Doctor. You're way off course. It hurts me to think that two American boys would be implicated in something like this. Doc, you could be more wrong if you studied for years. Uh, Doc! Pretty tough for us to help you as long as you held this gun on this, Doctor. Huh. You help. Oh, he's a tough one to convince. Maybe this will mean something to you. Oh, you do want to help. Doctor, we described seeing that. You said you saw someone like him in the village. Well, this man that I saw was a merchant. He stayed only one day in Wangchu. Oh, well, maybe he's still around. But his name was not Sinan. His name was mentioned to me, but I forget it. But it was not Sinan. Could be a phony name he gave us. Where did he stop? In the big house on the street of the Nightingale. They stopped there. They? He and the lady. Chances are they still might be in town. I'm willing to waste a little energy finding out. My feelings precisely. Be back soon, Doctor. We hope. Nan's car. Yeah. What do we use? Cunning or brute force? Frontal assault. The only thing we have time for. We want to talk to Sinan. No one hears that name. He's here, all right. No one home. You go. Five American dollars and let us in. No money. Go. A most manly exhibition. The dragon lady. Stay leave fighting to see me. I have long waited for such fervor. My gorgeous. You turn up in the oddest places. Or is it us? I might have known who masterminded a crummy deal like this. There is a saying that only the brave deserve the fair. Am I fair enough, Mr. Lee? There are times, beautiful, but this isn't one of them. Would you care to explain these circumstances? I held you capable of a lot of things, D.L., but this serum deals a little more than I can stomach. The righteous one speaks in riddles. What serum? Come, Dragon Lady. Half your charm lies in a certain ruthless honesty. The other half isn't bad, either. I do not know what you are talking about. I'll spell it out for you. We flew some serum in here today, and a typhus serum that might save a few lives. It's been hijacked for resale on the black market. And do you believe I have done this? You just happen to be passing through Wang Chu, I suppose. I am here on business of my own. It has nothing to do with serum. Let me talk to Sinan, or whatever his name is. Sinan? I have never heard of him. Tall, thin, long mustache, little goatee. 
And he was directly involved? Very, very. The people's champion. A Lady Robin Hood. You go too far. Too bad we can't afford to pay the lady for the serum and get it back. Come on, Chaz. These two are not to leave here. What's the big idea? As long as you are already convinced that I am behind this, I may as well see that you do not interfere. Well, at least it's out in the open. This is one time I do not mind if the guards are a trifle inhospitable. You are Dr. Johnson? If you've come for help, I can give you none. Then perhaps I can help you. There's only one guard at the door. Mathematically, you're right, but that gun makes a big difference. Yeah. Well, start thinking, Chaz. We want to get out of here. Well, why don't you say so? Maybe I can entice the character outside. Maybe he won't know the difference. You'll never qualify. Chaz. When I was a kid, we had a gag that always worked. Something's percolating, I can tell by the glazed eyeballs. I need a piece of wood, about as high as a door, and a plank to go over the top. The old water pail trick was slightly more lethal ammunition. The lady? The lady? She'll have to wait a while. Oh, well. Maybe the gag. Untie my hands. A few words first. Like, uh, where's the serum? I do not know. Who tied you up, doctor? Two men came in. They had guns. What did they want? My sterilizer and all my hypodermic needles. One of them must have been the one that took us in, Chaz. Phony doctor. Was one an Occidental? That's right. One was an Oriental. It wasn't Sinan? No, it was not. You are a fool, Terry Lee. And at the moment, not even an enchanting one. Release me, and I can help you. Tell us about Sinan. Release me. Well, that'll be a poor bargain. Never know how much of the truth you'd be willing to exchange. I think you're better off the way you are. And you intend to leave me here? Yeah. I want to keep you healthy until I get back. I can't believe this lady shares any guilt. She was most sincerely concerned. You may be right, Doctor. But with her, there's always that element of doubt. Terry Lee. That you could leave me here, I could understand. But that you will believe I will be a party to this, I shall never forgive. Oh, well, the elders. All is me. Come on, let's go. Well, what now, Mon Capitaine? He ought to be close by. We better go look for him. You know, now that I've got a minute to think about it, I, I, I really don't feel so good. No kidding. The doc will take care of you later. Doctor! Doctor! Good that I have found you. What is it? My mistress is deathly ill. Come quickly. I can do nothing for you, mistress. I do not have the medicine that might cure her. You do not understand, good doctor. It is from the magic medicine that she is ill. Find out where she got it, doctor. Your mistress got the medicine in the needle? And now her body is wrecked with a thousand devils. You must come to her. Well, who gave her this medicine? Tell me quickly. The other doctor, the one in the basement of Lingu, the merchant. This, said the man, might be it. Tell your mistress there's no danger. Tell her I will come as soon as I can. I will tell her. What about this Ling Ho she mentioned? He's a merchant. I know nothing else about him. Except that he's got a basement. Well, that's not unusual on Wang Chu. Except that this particular basement seems to have a doctor in it. Terry, we'd better see the doctor. Yeah, Chaz, we'd better see this doctor. Where is this Ling Ho's basement? 
Come on, I'll take you there. What do we do? Just go in and take over? Let's take a look. It's alone as far as I can see. Chaz, you'll cover the back door. Doctor, you better stay here. You're gonna take him yourself? I hope. Go on, Chaz, get moving. Be careful, young man. I'm afraid you'll have to find a new nurse, Doctor. Why, well, I don't understand, Pamela. He does. It would have taken much too long to make a state nursing. She thought of a faster way. You, among others. Mainly this guy on the floor. Boyfriend of yours, Miss Brighton? It would have worked, too, if you hadn't meddled. What was the bit with St. Anne at the airfield? The guy who bundled you up? Chisler. He tried to cut himself in. And we went to the plan to get the serum. You faked that second kidnapping to throw us off. You seem to know all the answers. Why don't you leave me alone? How did she get back to town? She hid in the bushes until what's-his-name, Quato, came back for her, right? Whatever you've got on your mind, why don't you get on with it? Excellent idea. This Borgia scares me. Pick up Lover Boy on your way out. one of your men. He might have succeeded just as well as the others. I see. Bring him in. This is the man you saw at the airfield? Yeah, that's C. Nan. His name is Lee Tzu. Under your boys? He was. Lee Tzu, tell this man, did I send you to bring me the medicine? No, mistress, no. A weak moment, a foolish moment. Tell him, why did we come to this village? The lottery, mistress. To organize a new territory for the lottery. Lotteries, yes. Many other things, yes. But this, Mr. Lee, that you would believe... But the way it looked, you can't blame me. You have wronged me, Terry Lee. Yeah, I... I guess I did. I can vindicate myself in only two ways. The first is to kill you. Well, I'll take the second. Come here, then. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough. Oh, what is it, young man? You look most unhappy. Why, don't feel so good, Doc. Full day around all these germs. Oh, I'd better take a look at you. You got a tummy ache? Yes, sir. You feel hot and cold ultimately? Simultaneously. Mm. Have a headache? Throbbing. Let's see your tongue. Say, ah. Ah. Good heavens. Doc, it's not, it's not, young man. You've got the measles. a literary masterpiece. Joy can... What did he say, Terry? Can you understand his dialect? He said, see you again. Oh, from yo. When illustrious friends... 
Sang Hup. Gather for Tengu Jai. Further exciting adventures of Further exciting adventures of, of Terry and, and the, the Pirates. Be with us again the next time we take off with Terry and the Pirates and another exciting high altitude adventure.